What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Dean Knight, and let's make franchise history. Welcome back to the Barons franchise, everybody, as we hold a 3-2 series lead against the Heat. And game six is in Miami, and Boston is actually waiting already in round two for the winner of this. But we're just one game away. And also, Malik Monk has kept his starting job for at least another game. So that's pretty exciting for him. I just can't have him shooting 30 times and making four. That's just not the way that it's going to do it. But let's jump into game six. Hopefully we can get this win and wrap up this series. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. It's been an absolute war out there. Neither side giving in. Both want to advance to the next round. It's the Eastern Conference Playoff Game 6, right here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith, and we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. We've got the Barons and the Miami Heat. You look at Miami, it's a win or stay home as they look to keep their raucous crowd to help propel them to a final Game 7 on enemy ground. Yeah, and despite being in that 3-2 hole, they've got reason to feel confident coming into this game. I mean, this building is charged up, and I'm not sure these fans will let them lose tonight. Now the starting group for Baltimore. They've got Smith. He'll just Alexander out there with Monk. Then it's Porter, and it's Adams, and at the five. Here's Hero, and he overshot that one, missing. Missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. And the rejection by Favors. What perfect timing on that play. Derek Favors, an outstanding shot blocker. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First free throw is good. And Porter drops them both. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. Adebayo, and that one drops for him. They finally hit one after missing three straight. Adams, and here is Gilgis Alexander. He's guarded by Adebayo, and it's blocked. They get it back, and he gets it to go. Butler in the corner. Kept alive. Now the pass to Hero. Here's the three. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Here's Gilgis Alexander. A shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. A nice little floater by Gilgis Alexander. Excels at scoring on the move. Guarded by Porter. That's a floater go. And the basket is good. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Adams trying to free himself up. Gilgis Alexander, good. I know he's young, but there's a maturity to Gilgis Alexander's game. He takes what you give him. And Adebayo throws it down. Miles back and forth this first half. And this could continue to go back and forth the entire way. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. He's covered by Favors, and yes, it's good. Gilgis Alexander's got six. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Outside, Butler. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And the first one at the line is good. And so Butler nails both of them. The rebound by Steven Adams. Heroes gone one of three on the night. Here's Porter and finished off by Porter. 
And he's got a great balance of, of knowing when to slash inside. Porter needs to keep being this aggressive on the drive. Kicks it to Fabers. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And the first one drops. So we get some bow one. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, I did speak with the Barons head coach. His main concern going into tonight's game six was that some of his guys may view game seven at home as a safety net. He told them, you don't want to punt this one because you think you'll win the next one. Momentum is a monster. We can play one game, or we can play two. Kevin, we'll see if they can wrap it up tonight. Back to you. Thank you, David. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. It's hauled in by Adams. Adams has got his fifth rebound in this one. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. So Favors will bring it up for Miami. Throws up. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. The first one falls. So he hits one of two from the strike. From down low. No good off the back of the rim. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Guarded close. Time out, time out. Hey, dunks aren't always for the big fellas. A serious power move from the point. Forget just landed in. He wanted to make a statement. Here's Hero. Covered by Van Vliet. Shots good by Hero. Heroes got six. And we'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Both teams putting forth their best efforts right now. This is the kind of game fans pay to see. Six on the shot clock. A nice shot by Kevin Gelly. Kevin gelly has got it all tied up now for Baltimore. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Here's Waiters. Drills the elbow jumper. The screen and roll. A simple play to run. But when executed properly, as Waiters did, it's a nightmare to defend. Now here's Van Vliet. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that. Here's the pass to Kevin Gill. And now, here's his own one. Covered by Winslow, and the shot goes down. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. Here's Waiters. And it's Kevin Gelly with the rebound. Waiters gone one of three from the field here. Ball's knocked loose and taken away by Johnson. Down low. Here's Hero. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. Hero's got ten points. Justice Winslow has done an excellent job of being unselfish and making the right play. Stolen by Cantor. Johnson outside. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. No good on the free throw. Good on the second free throw. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Pass to Looney, and here is his own yell. Shot clock at six. Kevin Gelly, and he slams it one-handed. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Pass to Van Vliet. 11 feet away. Johnson with the block. Sneaky shot blocker James Johnson is not the biggest guy, but he has the reach to do it. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Here's 
Looney. He's covered by Cantor. The offensive rebound. Looney with the bucket. The effort from Looney on the offensive glass. A hustle player who really wills himself That's out there. It's tipped. Now here's Van Vliet. He's covered closely. Here's Kevin Gillen. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. And that's a lesson for the D. Fight harder on the glass. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. We'll return shortly. Good to have you with us for 2K Sports coverage of Game 6. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Heat? Well, credit their anticipation skills on the defensive end. They forced a number of turnovers. And you can't cause those mistakes unless you're willing to gamble. So far, they've rolled the dice, and it's paid off. Looney. Baylor is out there with Fred Van Vliet. Then it's Hazonia. It's Kevin Gellian at the power forwards position. Using that solid frame inside, Winslow draws the foul. That free throw missing. He hits the second from the line. Passes it to Kevin Gill. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. The feed to Johnson. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. And the Heat lead by four. Inside Baylor. From 15 feet away, and he hits the jump shot. Baylor's got his first points of the night. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Cantor finds Winslow. Lock at six. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First free throw is good. Both good from the line that time. From an easy one to a tough one. And you know, technically, it's a high percentage look, but this is why we play the game. They grab their own miss. Goes up again, and Looney sends it back. The tenacity of Looney there, swatting the shot back and showing off his defensive chops. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. Raiders against Baylor. Snatched up. Cantor, and the layup's good off the glass. Cantor's got his first points in this one. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Pass to Porter. A fader. And it's Miami with the rebound. Here's Butler. Here's Favors. And Derek Favors with the slam. One of the foremost offensive rebounders in the game. Favors always in pursuit. A floater, and Adams sends it back. Now, here's Monk. He's been patient so far, nothing on the scoreboard yet. And Monk has proven that he is a terrific scorer from the perimeter. When he's in rhythm, he has no problem letting it fly. Now, here's Butler. Not a lot of room. Over Monk. And it's Butler missing. Can you believe it? He's missed every shot he's taken. Yet this team still continues to hold the lead. And that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. Just barely too late and, and catches it on the way down. He's already in the air there, committed. So can't fault him for going for the block. Autobio is checked in for the Heat. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one is off. And he's good on the second. Now, Gilgis Alexander. 
Eight points for him. Can't connect from 14 feet out. Here's Butler. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Free throw, no good for Butler. I'll tell you what, he's been off target all night, and his teammates have had to rally. Porter dishes to Monk. They get the rebound. Gilgis Alexander, good. Gilgis Alexander's got 10 points. Despite his slim frame, Shea Gilgis Alexander is showing enough strength to take the hit and complete the play. Four on the shot clock. Free throw line jump shot, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Five points in the game. Baltimore trails by four. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. One for three, and a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Six points for Malik Monk. How about the quickness of that release by Monk? An experienced catch-and-shoot player who feels comfortable firing from deep. Baltimore with the rebound. Adams has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Porter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one drops. He ties it up. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. Adebayo finds Winslow. Knocks it loose. Now here's Monk, the fast break chance. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. Impressive night for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Scoring and doing it in a variety of ways. And that's foul number two. And maybe you don't sit him at this point, but you really have to be careful to not pick up another before half. And he makes the first. That one is no good. Baltimore on offense. They're on a 14-6 run. To the paint, here's Adams. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Adams has got the lead up to four now for the Barons. Back to Gilgis Alexander. The 10 foot And Baltimore again with the bucket. Oh, great ball movement there. Defensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Butler. Nails the 16-footer. Butler's got four points this quarter. Jimmy Butler, great feel for the mid-range game. And it's where his jumper's most accurate. Passes it to Monk. And that one goes long. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. It's good, and the Baltimore lead is cut down to two on the bucket from Hero. This is what the analytics prefer. Shots at the rim or from three. Here's Kevin Gelly. Six points for him. Six to shoot. Here's Van Vliet. Still scoreless. You wonder if it's starting to get to. Off target from the wing. To the middle. Here's Johnson and the slam dunk by Johnson. I love how Jimmy Butler let the play develop. How he's learned to trust his vision. Now here's Waiters. Covered by Van Vliet. And Looney sends it back. And here they come. And finish off by Hezonia. Any chance you get, you want to put yourself in a position to succeed, and that's what he did there. Great job of reading the floor, got to the rim, and made a play. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. There's 42 seconds left to play in the first half. That's what you get from Jimmy Butler. Consistently a tireless worker and driving the ball to the hoop. He's made two of three from the stripe tonight. And the first one at the line is good. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Outside Baylor. Here's Azania. A three-pointer is right on target. 
Azania's got his third basket of the night. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Oh, he has just struggled here offensively in the quarter. Outside Butler. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Butler's got eight here in the quarter. I like the way he came off that pick. Been able to stay on balance, rise up, and knock down the shot. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Barons lead by two. And join us right back here after the break for the start of the second half. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, you will not find an empty seat here tonight. Welcome to our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet, Shaquille O'Neal. You looking for an empty seat? Yeah. You're sitting there. only it. three of us. Went, and, they're, and the seats are all full. Okay. Oh, you meant in the arena. Ah, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Well, for Baltimore, they're locked in a battle tonight. And knowing that they're desperate to clinch the series here in game six, it's likely to be a rough, grinded out second half. They don't want to let this opportunity get away from them. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about the visiting team? Well, their playmakers are showing up tonight, seeing the court well, moving the basketball. That's why they had so many assists in the first half. And they're not just relying on ISO plays to generate points. And Shaq, your thoughts on the heat? Their shooting rhythm was off, under 40%. Some of that was shot selection. Some of it was the defense stepping up. My guess is we'll see some significant changes as things get going in the second half. Increasing off the ball activity, making the extra pass, and trying to get better looks. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. They've got Jimmy Butler. Am Adebayo is out there with favors. And it's Hero in the shooting guard. So that's where Exposure starts the second half with. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. He's tightly guarded. They get it again. Mung's gone two for eight, shooting just 25% from the field. And he shows us all what the breakaway rim was invented for. Can you believe he almost brought the whole thing down by hanging on that wall? Outside Porter. And a great assist by Gildas Alexander as that one goes in. He feeds it to Butler over Porter, and it's Miami with another. Terrific game plan coming out of halftime. A perfect three for three from the field. Baltimore with the ball. On for three. And Baltimore hits again from deep. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Here's Butler. Favors trying to break free. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass. Getting it done. Favors has got six. Oh, wow. Four or five to start the half. Coming out on fire. The pass to Monk takes the three. Offensive rebound. Adams dishes to Smith. And the rejection by Favors. Smith, no luck. The Heat with the lead. Here's Hero. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. The first free throw is good. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Gilgis Alexander passes to Adams. Lays it up and banks it in. Adams has got six. And you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded out game. 
Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. D right on him. Poked away. Butler with the steal. Finished off the break. Seven points in the game. Whatever they did right in the first half defensively, we're not seeing it now. Monk with the ball. Nine points in the game so far. From 20 feet out. Porter, no luck. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Four on the clock. Shoots from the baseline. That shot off the mark. Ice D from Porter. Trying to get something going, and the layup is good. Porter's got 10. And he's just adept at scoring in so many ways. It's clear Porter very comfortable operating inside. Waiters outside. To the inside. Cantor. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's good from Cantor. Off on that one. So he goes one for two at the line. And it's Justice Winslow with the foul. Go the other way. That's his first foul. Porter with it. He's guarded by Wader. This is Winslow's bread and butter, providing lockdown defense against a variety of positions. Steps back and fires. Unable to get that one. And the Barons the other way now. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's good from Gilgis Alexander. Good on both. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. And it's Baltimore on the break. Here's Azania. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Waiters on the wing. Baylor defending. Shots good by Waiters. Terrific understanding of how to score the ball. Waiters gets what he wants. Right out. Up top, Gilgis Alexander. 16 points for him. There's Azania. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's on Ennis Cantor. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Bobs it up for Cantor. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. It's Herzonia in the corner. They get it back. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? And Waiters kicks to Cantor. Drains it from 17 feet out. Cantor's got five now. And just using the natural advantage he has, he can see over the top of the defense. It's deflected. Waiters for three. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. Winslow's got his third assist on the night. Pass to Van Vliet. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The throw good, Van Vliet. He hits both from the strike. Now Winslow. Pass to Cantor. Wide open. A rebound by Hazania. Cantor's gone two of six here tonight from the field. Throws it up high. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Kevin Kelly's gone four of six from the floor here tonight. And there's the pass to Johnson. Tries from 16. And it's Winslow that time on the assist by Johnson. Winslow's got five. Six to shoot. Baltimore moving that ball around. Good on the triple. Baylor's got his third basket of the night right there. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. Oh, 
from deep. And that shot was up in time, but doesn't go in. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. It's the Heat up one. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feed. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. Butler kicks to Winslow. Back to Butler. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. Winslow's got four assists in the game. If you're defending Jimmy Butler, you got to hit him harder than that. Pass to Hazania. Over Butler. And with that, the Heat lead is cut to just one point on the basket from Hazania. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Got a piece of it. And stolen by Hazonia. And it's Baltimore on the break. Jumps up. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last A little shot. over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Lasagna, the pass to Kevin Gill. And Butler sends it back. On the prowl, Butler with the block shot. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First one falls for him. That one misses. He was definitely disappointed. He couldn't put his team up in front, but at least he nodded this one up. Winslow dishes to Butler. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Free throw, good Butler. And so Butler nails both of them. Here's Monk. Here's Porter. It's good. Porter's got the game tied up here for Baltimore. Just so tricky with that little floating jump shot. Porter has a great feel for when to let it fly. Get to go. That one good from Autobio. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. And I don't think he expected to get that good of a look. Poor communication defensively. A nice shot by Kevin Gelly. And how about Monk there scanning the floor for the open teammate? That's how you develop a trust from your teammates. Porter with a block. And it's Baltimore on the break. Monk, no one around him, buries the corner three. Now it's a three-point Baron lead. On the wing, Porter. Pass to Monk. Fires the three. Buries it from three-point range. Monk's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Barons. Kevin Gelly passes to Porter. Monk for three. And the pass to Adams. Second shot opportunity. Shock up two there. Adams has got the lead up to eight now for the Barons. I, I like seeing Monk set his teammates up. A part of his game that I think he's got to continue to improve. Checked in. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Eric Spolster coaching the team during the break. Not happy with the way this game is going. He said you're getting used out there on the perimeter. Inside the arc, we're doing some good things, but outside, we're a disaster. Tighten it up. Kevin will see if they can close out on those shooters a little more effectively. Outside, Porter. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. The Heat trail by eight. To the paint, pass to Hero. Butler against Smith, and the rejection by Smith. I mean, you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. He's off on the first. 
That's off as well. So he misses both. Pass to Monk. The three. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got four assists in the game. Gilgis Alexander cover. They get it back. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And that one falls for Favors. And so Favors nails both of them. They're on a 19-7 run. It's stolen. In transition, here comes Miami. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And he knocks down the first one. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Here's Autobio. And he drops it in from the low post. Autobio's got four this quarter. Baltimore needs to get off a shot here. Hilgis Alexander can't get it to go. The Heat trail by six. The feet to favors. And he uses the glass on the layup. Great game for him. Double double down. 10 points and 16 rebounds. Baltimore on offense. And here is Gilgis Alexander. And that one is good. And the Barons lead by six. Beautiful setup by Shea Gilgis Alexander. He impacts all aspects of the game and brings leadership. It is now to Butler. Inside, Favors, and Derek Favors with the slam. Whenever Favors' team needs him to step up in a big juncture of the game, he's ready. Alexander passes to Monk. Porter with it. Over Butler. And there's Porter on the assist by Monk. Monk's got six assists here tonight. Favors trying to break free, and it's Butler missing. And there hasn't been anything easy for him in this period. And you've seen they've made numerous attempts to try to get him going. Shows how valuable he is to this offense. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That free throw good from Butler. Second free throw, no good. Now Monk. 13 feet away. And Baltimore again with the bucket. And you see the improvement in that mid-range game by Monk. He really wants to be a knockdown threat from all three levels on the floor. Dishes to Favors. Passes it to Hero. He'll just Alexander cover it. The 11-footer up again, and Cantor able to finish. You know, his positioning near the hoop, always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. Gilgis Alexander finds Porter. 36 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Good work there as it goes. And the Barons lead by nine. The ability to alternate tempo off the bounce. This is how Gilgis Alexander keeps defenders guessing. Butler with the ball. Now guarded by Porter. Butler no good. Baltimore on offense. Here's Monk. they do it they'll move on to round two it took them six games to do it Greg but they finally asserted themselves and move on to round two and I really think it benefits a team to have a competitive series in, in round one it gets those playoff juices kind of flowing if you will prevents any kind of complacency from setting in and that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals for Greg Anthony, David Aldridge, Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. 
Celebrate good times. Come on. So we end up winning 102-93. We finally get our first playoff series win in franchise history behind almost a 45% day from the field. We actually won without getting to the free throw line and we were fouling the heck out of the Miami Heat. So that's what really kind of kept them in. Again, offensive rebounds an issue, which we haven't had that issue at all, all season, but the Heat, every game were just dominating us. Bench did outscore 36-27 points in the paint, 52-50. to So this was a game, we're finally there, and now we get to meet Boston. And for the players' stats, Malik Monk led us with 22 points of rebound, 6 assists in the steal, 8 of 21 shooting, 6 of 14 from 3-point land, so that's pretty healthy. I like that production. SGA added 18 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists. Michael Porter Jr., 14 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 blocks. Not the greatest series, but he did have one of the greatest defenders on him in the league. Cabin Gelly, 12.7 rebounds, 2 assists, and 3 blocks. And Hazonia, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal to pretty much help out the bench in outscoring. And for the Heat, we kind of shut down Jimmy Butler again. He did score 20 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steal, and a block. But just 6 of 22 shooting, 0 for 3 from 3 point land. Tyler Hero, 18 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Derek Favors all over the glass again, 12 points, 16 rebounds, 4 blocks. Dion Waiters, 9 points and an assist. And now our next opponent standing in our way is the daunted Boston Celtics. They got Jason Tatum, 90 overall, Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward, Robert Williams, Alex Len. It's a pretty solid team. Yogi Ferrell is a backup. Langford. I mean, not terrible. They don't have any injuries at all, really. So this is going to be another interesting series, but I think we can clean up on the glass, which is really our game. So we do see a couple teams have clinched, but let's simulate the round so we can get everybody into round two. So Golden State actually upsets the number one seeded and defending champion, the Lakers, and they will be meeting the Dallas Mavericks who won four games to three over the Clippers. So two upsets right away in the Western Conference. Houston ends up beating Denver four games to three, and Memphis looked pretty strong against Utah, winning four games to one. So the round two matchups are gonna be the Mavs and the Warriors, and then the Grizzlies and Rockets. On the Easter Conference side, the 76ers did end up beating the Wizards four games to two, so they will be moving on. The Hawks beat the Nets, thank goodness, four games to two. Good job, Trey Young. And then we already know our matchup, Boston beat Orlando four games to one. So the 76ers are going to go against the four-seeded Atlanta Hawks. And we will have another interesting matchup as a six-seeded Boston Celtics team that is actually very, very good. I mean, it's the playoffs. That's just what you can expect. So when we come back next episode, we will jump into game one of the second round. It's at home, Baltimore. We welcome the Boston Celtics. Hopefully we can put them away a lot easier than we did with the Heat. But thanks again for watching. And as always, stay frosty and I'll see you in the next episode. D night out. They thought it was a game till I came back with that win over time. I've been working now, I'm back at it again. Uh -huh. Now we finished what you thought that was the end, man. We've been putting it work.